Pizza, nachos, mac and cheese doesn't sound like a healthy menu, but early show contributor Katie Lee is here to prove that you can take the fat out of some of your favorite comfort foods and actually keep the flavor and make it somewhat healthy. Is that amazing? Yes, How are isn't you? Good that to see great? You. Because I love junk food just yeah. as much as the next girl, but I tell you what, after a winter of eating it, starting to feel nah, it. Come My on. pants are feeling a little nah, tight. Yeah, so so what, yeah, when I hear about nachos, when I hear about mac and cheese, chocolate chip cookies, jalapeno poppers, Chicken tenders. Right? And we're going to put a healthy spin on this. It's incredible. That's exactly right. I posted on my Twitter and yep. asked people what they wanted to see get made over. Yep. I got so much response. <laughs> so these are my Twitter followers' favorites. Good. And my favorites, too. Good, so good, good. I'm glad they didn't choose me to get made <laughs> over. Thank you, Twitter followers. We're going to start with jalapeno poppers. Okay. So an all-time sports favorite, especially with, with you know March Madness Basketball going on. season, yeah. This is perfect for watching the basketball game. Okay. So I'm going to have you start by okay. mixing this. This is some low-fat cool. cream cheese. Okay. So so just mix that up with just a pinch of that just salt. Don't put okay, all sorry. of it. Okay. It's healthy, right? Okay, well, that's okay. what I was wondering. I was about to say, it's a lot of salt. <laughs> and this is some part skim mozzarella okay. cheese. So it's definitely lighter. Mm -hmm. So just give that a good mix. And then I have my jalapenos here that I took out the seeds and the membrane because that makes it less spicy. Okay. And then you're just going to take a little bit of this cheese mixture okay. and spoon it right in here. And just kind of pack it down just like that. Yep. Okay, so now comes the breading part, which okay. is where you would think fry. Well, but I mean, we're the croutons, not, that's We're not going to fry. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So we're going to dip it here. You do this. Okay. Okay, dip it in some flour. Up and down. Yeah, the whole thing all over. And then this is a mixture of one egg and one egg white, mm -hmm. so it's less fattening. You've got enough on there. Okay. Kind of dust it off a little. It's a lot of flour okay. on there, okay. Chris. Okay, so dip it in there. <laughs> and then this is a dieter's fried food loving dream. Crushed cornflakes. Crushed? Just the cereal? This is just the cereal, okay. and this right is in. what gives you that great crunch of fried food. It's delicious. So just get it nice and coated, put it on our baking sheet over there. I have some in the oven that are already done, and they just cook for about 20 minutes. If you want to pull them out, they're in the bottom oven okay. over there. So they're so good, and these also freeze great, too. How do cornflakes cook, though? Let's see. The cornflakes just bake right up, and they wow. get super crunchy and good. And you can use those for anything that you would like to fry. Look at that. So doesn't that look great? See that? Delicious. Can I try one? Try one, absolutely. It's going to be spicy first thing in the Real morning. Bad? Go for it. And I did some chicken fingers using the same cornflake mixture. It's amazing how crunchy it is. You like it? it? Yeah. It's got the great crunch. That's what it's all about is the crunch. So for these chicken fingers, I actually used Gardein. So this is a product that's meat free and it's really low calorie, but high protein. And it actually has the texture more of like a chicken nugget. So give that a try. Try chicken nugget too? Kids will never know the difference. A little mustard sauce? Yeah, honey mustard or barbecue sauce. They're so yummy. You know what you do? You put honey mustard on one side, a little and barbecue, barbecue on the other. Sauce on the other. Oh. That How's way that? you're not Ooh. double dipping. Double dip. That's what I'm saying. I like How the barbecue. It? It's good, right? Now, would you know that that's not chicken? I, I love the honey mustard. No, it's not chicken. It's not chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Were you I'm listening? Kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> he was clearly. I was kidding. I didn't go to the oven. Come on. Okay. Very good. So Seriously. next up. Let me. I, I'm, I'm going to stop hmm. you for one second. The poppers are dynamite. That was awesome too. Awesome, right? Perfect for kids who like chicken fingers, but you don't want them to have all that unhealthy processed stuff. Well, this is okay. our cheese for cheese, both our Because I got lots of requests for mac and cheese and nachos. Yep. So we're going to make a low fat cheese sauce, yep. which normally you would start out with like three tablespoons of butter, okay. but I'm leaving that step out. Just going with the flour, That's some nice. onion powder, pinch of salt. and a pinch of that salt. Put it in there. And you just kind of let this toast for a couple minutes to get out that flour taste. Okay. Pour in the skim milk. So we're mm -hmm. using fat free milk. Skim milk. Milk, folks. That's cute. Yeah, fat-free milk. And then to give it a creamy taste, I put in some of this low-fat cream cheese. So oh. dump that in there. That. Yeah, the whole thing. So it's two tablespoons of cream cheese, okay. the low-fat kind. Now this is going to take about four minutes to get nice and thick, and then you're going to put in low-fat cheddar cheese. It comes out looking like this. And you would just toss in your macaroni with that and then put it in a casserole dish and bake it. If you want to make nachos, yeah. just add a little salsa to this. It'll spice it up. You could also put Parmesan cheese in it, toss it with pasta. It's yeah. really, really yummy. It's um, hot over here. This really is so okay. cookies real quick. These I quick love. Quick. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. I did these flourless okay. and high protein. This is a meringue. Just whipped up the egg whites. Now you know how to fold now. So yes, fold in our mini chocolate so chips. Day, I'm going to grab these out of the oven. Okay. They bake for about 40 minutes, and they are so good. So what do you good. do on the tray? You just put them on there like dollops? and Just, just like you're making regular cookies. Got it. And pull these out. They look delicious. Yep. Nice and light, low cal, no flour. So if you have a gluten-free child, this is a great thing to make. What do you think of those? 
Really good, right? With a big glass of skim wow. milk. That was really good. <laughs> good. good. I'm glad you like this. And then we have wow. some sweet potato skins over here. Let me set this down. Wow. Okay, this is also so great. So lots stuff. of good, yummy foods.